Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. And uh, this Raw was in uh, Memphis, Tennessee tonight. And while tonight's edition of Raw, I thought uh, it wasn't a good show by any means, uh, I have to say that uh, last week's show uh, that I was there for at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn was you know, a much better show. But uh, there was a few things uh, that I liked. Uh, some uh, matches uh, tonight that you know I didn't like. So, but overall, I thought tonight's Raw was wasn't that good of a show. I have to say, like I said, I thought last week's show was much better, considering you know that I was there and you know just the uh, the atmosphere of that show with the crowd. And pretty much tonight, the crowd was pretty much dead. Uh, the crowd was like dead silent through um uh, most of the show so but uh the show opened uh with tonight it opened with ms tv it was gonna be ms tv but then uh kurt angle comes out you know ms is trying to uh you know to talk that's when kurt angle comes out and cuts ms off and kurt says to ms that there will be a intercontinental title match at no mercy and uh Miz says to Kurt that, you know, he doesn't know what respect means and that Kurt is disrespecting him and also disrespecting the Intercontinental title. And uh, Kurt says that they that there is going to be a Battle Royal, uh, which is happening next. And the winner of the Battle Royal will face Miz next week for the Intercontinental title. So it was just a little, uh, it's just a little segment with Miz and Kurt. And uh, eventually that led to uh, the Battle Royal. It was a uh, 15-man Battle Royal. Uh, we had the Hardys in there. We had Gallows and Anderson. Finn Balor was in it. Uh, I think R-Truth was in it. Gold Dust was there. We saw a uh, big show without uh, facial hair, uh, which uh, he looked really diff He looks really different without facial hair. And, uh, and then we had, uh, who else was in it? Uh, we had Elias in it, and uh, it was a pretty good battle royal. Uh, really uh, liked it, and uh, Jeff Hardy won uh, the match, won the battle royal. So now Jeff Hardy will get to face uh, Miz next week for the Intercontinental Title. Uh, happy that you know Jeff won the battle royal. Uh, so, but overall, it was a enjoyable uh, battle royal. You know, happy to see that Jeff won the won the uh, the battle royal. Then uh, after that, we had Alexa Bliss was being interviewed about her, you know, getting back the women's women's title tonight after you know she might beat Sasha. And Alexa says that you know tonight that she is going to take back the Royal women's title and you know say that you know Sasha is just one you know big loser. So it was a little interview with Alexa. Uh, I do have to say that uh, the rematch, uh, Alexa versus Sasha, that happened tonight. Uh, originally, I uh, wish that it would have happened last week in Brooklyn uh, because the crowd would have went uh, really, uh, would have went really crazy uh, for the match, especially you know uh, Sasha fans there. So but it was a little interview with Alexa, and then uh, it was the cruiserweight match. Uh, that happened next. It was uh, Enzo. It was Enzo versus Noam Dar. Uh, Enzo is now part of the Cruiserweights uh, because last week he debuted on uh, 205 Live. So, but uh, he had his first uh, match in the Cruiserweight uh, division against Noam Dar tonight. And it was pretty much a meh kind of match. Uh, the crowd didn't really care for it. And it was just you know pretty. Uh, it was a pretty boring match. Uh, Enzo got the win. So, but pretty meh match. Didn't care for it. And Neville, after the match, uh, Neville was getting interviewed about, you know, Enzo, you know, Enzo win the match. Uh, Neville says that if Enzo was going to be competition to him for, you know, the Cruiserweight uh, title, uh, you know, for Neville, he's going to be the Cruiserweight champion forever. And ever and ever, you know, that's what he uh, pretty much said. So, 
little interview with Neville. Then, after that, Brock Lesnar ends up coming out uh, with, of course, Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman, of course, gets on the mic and says that, you know, they are here. They are here to sing the praises of Braun Strowman. And, you know, Heyman says that Braun is the guy to go against Lesnar for the Universal title. And uh, Heyman says what Braun did last week is going to keep Lesnar down. And that Lesnar is going... And that Lesnar is going to hunt, you know, Lesnar is going to hunt down Braun. And, you know, he makes a statement saying, you know, Braun wants him. And Brock ends up taking the mic and says, you know, suplex city, bitch. You know, to pretty much make a statement to, uh, to uh, Strowman. So, it was a pretty good, uh, it was a pretty good segment with uh, Lesnar and uh, Heyman. You know, just them, you know, talking about uh, Strowman and Lesnar ended up and Lesnar ended up saying Suplex City bitch, uh, making a statement to uh, Strowman. Thought that was a uh, pretty funny. And then uh, we had another match. It was uh, Cesaro versus Seth Rollins. Uh, it was a pretty good match, very entertaining match. We had Sheamus and uh, Dean Ambrose at ringside, and uh. It's a good match, you know, Seth Rollins, uh, Cesaro going at it. Uh, we had a little bit of interference at the end of the match between, uh, you know, with Sheamus, but uh, Ambrose took care of it. But uh, Cesaro got the win uh, on Rollins, you know, automatic, uh, you know, roll up. So Cesaro won the match. And then after the match, Sheamus gets on the mic and says, you know, it's going to be him and Ambrose next. So that's what the next match was, Dean Ambrose versus Sheamus. It was a pretty good match, pretty decent match. Uh, back and forth between Ambrose and Sheamus. Uh, you know, it was very uh, enjoyable. Uh, we had, uh, you know, Cesaro uh, trying to interfere, but, uh, you know, Seth made the save where Seth jumped on the top and, you know, took out, uh, took out Cesaro, and it led to Ambrose hitting the dirty deeds on Sheamus to score the win. So it was a pretty good match. It was a decent match. I really enjoyed it. And then after that, we had uh, Mickey James and Emma uh, in the locker room. Uh, Mickey says to Emma that you know Nia destroyed her last week, and. Emma ends up telling Mickey that, oh, she starred the Woman's Revolution. I'm like, Emma starred the Woman's Revolution? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, when was, when was the last time, you know, Emma won the match? So, and, you know, she, she says that all that and says that Mickey should be thanking her, you know, for her starring the Woman's Revolution. I'm like, what? And then Mickey says that after she beats Emma, Emma will never say she started the Women's Revolution. And uh, Emma says that if she won, you know, Mickey would be tweeting, you know, that Emma started the whole Women's Revolution. It's a pretty meh segment with Mickey and Emma. And then, <coughs> excuse me, and that led to the, uh, the next match, which was Emma versus Mickey James. Uh, pretty boring match. Uh, didn't like it. Uh, Emma got the Emma got the win with a cheap win with a roll up. So then you know Emma after the match she brags about saying, "Oh, Emma started the women's revolution. Emma started the women's revolution." I'm like, when was the last time Emma won a match? You know, tonight she won a match. When was the last time Emma won a match? I forgot what, what you know. Forgot when she last won a match. Can you all remember? I sure can't. Still, one one match in a while is not you know is not you know a uh, oh she won so many matches so well, yeah well, yeah it was it was a boring match Just did not did not like it then the next was pretty much basically uh, segment promo of the year this was promo of the year uh, we had uh, the Cena and Reigns. 
we have the Cena and Roman uh, contract signing, which uh, they're going to uh, have a match at No Mercy. Uh, to me, I think they should have waited until WrestleMania, until WrestleMania 34 next year. Uh, because they were talking about saying, oh, we're going to make Cena and Roman a match, uh, the main event for uh, WrestleMania 34. And, you know, now they want to do it at No Mercy uh, next month. And, uh, you no, know, like I said, this should have this match should happen at WrestleMania 34. Or even better yet, they should have waited until Survivor Series. You know, Survivor Series would have been a good, uh, would have been a good, uh, you know, thing for this match. You know, for them to put this match on, you know, for the Survivor Series card. But, you know, I guess they want to uh, rush out and put at No Mercy uh, next month. But uh, this, like I said, was a promo segment of the year, in my opinion. It was just, uh, you know, John Cena coming out. You know, he says he's ready to sign the contract to face Roman at No Mercy. Uh, he says he wants to fight Roman, but, you know, Roman doesn't want to fight him. And, you know, Cena then ends up signing the contract. Roman ends up coming out, saying to Cena that he thinks, you know, Cena doesn't want, you know, Roman to fight him. Uh, Roman says to him that, Roman says to Cena that he, he retired take her at WrestleMania. And that it was something Cena wouldn't do. And, you know, he's like, maybe I just don't want to fight you. You know. And then Cena ends up calling Roman a John Cena boot, uh, bootleg version of himself, which was uh, funny. This is basically, uh, it was it was a contract signed to start out with, and then it turned into a full-fledged roast uh, between Cena and Roman. And, you know, he goes on to say that, you know, Cena, like I said, he says to Roman that he's just a bootleg of himself, and that, you know, Roman is not the guy, he's just, you know, a guy. And then, uh, Cena says that you know he's the fast he's the fastest hungriest that he's ever been, and that Roman wouldn't sign the contract because uh, if he did, the Roman Empire wouldn't see him. You know he does the whole "you can't see me" thing. Then Roman says the crowd uh, boos Cena because he sucks, and that you know, and then you know Cena jokes with Kurt saying that you know Kurt has heard the you know you suck chance many times. You know it's just a little. You know, joking around that he did with Kurt. And then Roman uh, ends ends up also calling Cena a phony and a part time and fake bitch. <laughs> you know, it was just a roast between. It was just a roast between you know Cena and Roman. And Cena then says to Roman that it took it took Roman five years just to cut a decent promo. <laughs> and uh, Cena says that he's still here because Roman can't do his job. And, you know, Roman ends up signing the contract, you know, flips the table over. And then Gallows and Anderson end up coming out, uh, saying to Cena and Roman that they are not, you know, good brothers. And they end up calling them, you know, nerds, you know, the famous nerds that they've been saying. Kurt Angle says that they are going to take on Cena and Roman next. And pretty much that's basically, you know, the match that happens right after the commercial. It was Roman Reigns and Cena versus Gallows and Anderson. And it was a decent match. Uh, not great or perfect, though. Uh, technically, not good of a match, also. But uh, just saw Cena, uh, just saw Gallows and Anderson just, you know, taking out Cena, pretty much dominating on Cena uh, through the match. And then uh, Roman ends up coming in, you know, starts taking out Gallows and Anderson. And yet in the match, you had uh, Cena giving the AA to Gallows, and then uh, Rain, and then Roman just hit a spear to Anderson uh, to score the win. Uh, Roman was the one. Roman was the one to uh, pin uh, Anderson uh, to score the win for him and Cena. And uh, pretty much, basically during the match, you know, you got Roman's uh, facial expressions to you know Cena, you know, doing all the stuff, doing all his uh, schlick. You know, the, uh, the five knuckle shuffle and, you know, it was just, you know, facial expressions that we saw from Roman, <laughs> which was funny. But all in all, uh, Roman and Cena versus Gals and Anderson, it was decent. Not great or perfect, though. Not good of a match, though. 
Not not that good of a match though. But uh, it's just decent. Then after that, we had Elias in the ring, uh, criticizing the Memphis crowd, boring, up, boring the crowd. And uh, Jerry Lawler ends up getting up and saying to Elias that, you know, he has trouble relating to the audience. And Jerry and Lawler ends up bringing out uh, Pelvis Wesley from uh, Southpaw Regional Wrestling, which is like this uh, parody of a 1980s uh, wrestling uh, show that, you know, that uh, I think... Uh, WWE does on their uh, YouTube channel. I uh, think that was what it is. Because I've seen it uh, on their YouTube channel, though, where you had Cena uh, there playing the character, you know, with, like, white hair. But uh, haven't watched haven't watched it, though, though. But I've seen, a, you know, just a, uh, a thumbnail of it, though, with Cena there and, you know, wearing a white wig. And... Uh, Pretty much, Pelvis Wesley gets in the ring and, you know, starts dancing. You know, Elias then takes him out and he hits the drift away on uh, Pelvis Wesley. It was a pretty shitty segment, in my opinion. Uh, it was like, pretty much, basically, you know, filler just to, just to uh, kill the time. So, it was very shitty. Very shitty segment. Then, uh, Renee Young, you know... Interviews uh, Miz. He's there with you know Maurice and you know Miz Taraji, you know Curse and Bo, and you know Miz says that you know it doesn't take one match to win. You know for his match with uh, Jeff Hardy for the Intercontinental Title, you know it's pretty much basically a little like two minute uh, interview. So, and then after that we had another interview. Where Sasha Banks was being interviewed about heading into her match against Alexa, uh, which is happening next for the uh, the Royal Women's Title. Sasha says that she's going to give Alexa the fight of her life, and that she's going to let the fans say to Alexa that you know she tapped out after the match is over, you know, or the next week. So it was a little interview with Sasha. And then, you know, of course, we had the main event, which was Alexa versus Sasha for the Royal Women's title. And it was a, uh, it was a decent match. Uh, wasn't perfect, though, but it was decent. You know, Alexa and Sasha still uh, continuing uh, the you know, sort of feud. And uh, it was back and forth between both of them, you know, went outside of the ring. And uh, Alexa got the win. Uh, with the DDT, and she becomes uh, the Royal Women's Champion again, uh, which, you know, it's okay, you know, considering, you know, I'm Alexa, I'm an Alexa fan, I'm really happy that, you know, she uh, won the Royal Women's title again, which I have to say it was, it was predictable, though, it was predictable. And uh, after the match, uh, Nia Jax ends up coming out, uh, she ends up taking out Sasha, you know, running into Sasha, you know, right by the turnbuckle and then she you know she picks up Alexa you know Alexa you know Alexa's on her uh, on Nia's shoulders you know Alexa just you know starts celebrating a little bit and then from out of nowhere Nia just you know just uh, lets you know Alexa fall you know she where Nia just goes you know just goes on her back and Alexa falls off you know, pretty much, basically, you know, they they were pulling, you know, the uh, the evolution thing where uh, where they did the same thing to Randy Orton, and pretty much, Nia just you know stands up and holds up the uh, the woman's tight the woman's title the world woman's title to end the show. So pretty much, basically, Nia I think probably ends up turning face at this point, you know, baby face. Uh, because the crowd was just chanting yes, yes, you know, after uh, she did that to Alexa. So, but uh, that was that was pretty cool. That that was a pretty cool way to end the Raw tonight. So, uh, Alexa versus Sasha uh, was decent. Uh, not perfect though, or anything. But uh, yeah. So, anyways, that's it for my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. Thank you all for watching. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all back tomorrow night for my SmackDown review.